G'day viewers. I thought we might run through the Morristown Access and ATC introduction from in the training centre. You will be taken through the basics of understanding ATC, Automatic Train Control, and ACSES, Advanced Civil Speed Enforcement System. And the reason for this is because I've noticed it's different. ATC, ACSES. Set it to handle off, huh? Right. I think that's just so it doesn't penalise us. Now we want to set axis cut in and ATC cut in. The reason I'm running through this tutorial, ATC and ACS -ES well, we've done that. Together to relay signal aspects and speed restrictions to the equipment in the cab. You should hmm. always follow in cab signaling, even if you have not enabled enforcement. Now that ATC and ACS -ES enforcement has been enabled, Penalties may be applied if speed limits are violated or if system alarms are not properly acknowledged. Now let's take a look at the in-cab equipment. All relevant information pertaining to ATC and ACSES will be displayed on the SDU, Speed Display Unit. Most of your information will be displayed in this SDU. The speed limit indicator on the SDU displays the current ATC or ACSES aspect, depending on which is illuminated. The area is currently under ACSES. Below that is a speedometer. You should always adhere to the lowest of these two speeds, even if enforcement isn't enabled. Let's get moving and see how ATC and ACSES will enforce speed limit changes. Brakes are coming off and we are powering. We're in the LP46, by the way. Now, I'm not going to focus on what's outside because I want to watch this screen. So we're allowed to do 70 mile an hour. The HUD says 70. The uh, SDU, I've always called it the ADU. In fact, it says ADU on it. So, you know, it's the ADU. Uh, that says uh, 100, but we buy, obey the lesser of the uh, speed indicators, in which case it's the HUD. I notice it's forced on next signal, and it's forced on all the other markers. I'm not a fan of that, to be honest. I want to do these in the way that I like to normally play, but uh, clearly we're not going to be allowed to do that. So we are approaching what the HUD says, so we'll do what the HUD says, and we will stick with about 60. We've got 1.5 miles to the station. Let's just be able to bump our way through here. The SDU is currently showing the track speed limit, which must not be exceeded. The SDU is currently displaying a clear aspect, meaning that you are able to proceed not exceeding the maximum authorized speed. Now, how does it tell me it's displaying a clear aspect, though? The train's position and calculates a safe braking curve for upcoming ACSES speed restrictions. If a penalty brake application occurs, recover control of the train by setting the brake handle to suppression or greater and acknowledging the alarm. Once at or below the required speed, the brakes can be released. This is called a running release. Suppression or greater, greater is emergency. The next 
signal is displaying a less favorable aspect than clear. When passing this point, the cab signal aspect on the SDU will change in order to conform. Oh, it's the color of that. Okay. Computer keeps track of the train's current position and calculates a safe braking curve for upcoming speed restrictions. If the braking curve is ever violated, Access initiates a penalty brake application. The next station stop is East Orange. When leaving the train, please watch the gap. I see. So the ADU is actually showing a red light now. So you get green, red, or yellow. Okay, that makes some sense. The line ahead has cleared. You do not need to acknowledge speed increases, only reductions. Cleared, huh? There it goes, okay. Brakes are coming off. And we have yellow with a flashing green. And we now have green. Let the people out. Operate to the next station. As always, pay close attention to the maximum authorized speed and cab signal on the SDU. Overspeeding may result in a penalty brake application. Always adhere to the maximum authorized speed. ACSES allows for operating up to 3 miles per hour over the maximum authorized speed. Any higher and an alarm will sound. If this occurs, you have eight seconds to reduce your speed before a penalty brake application. If the maximum authorized speed is exceeded by six miles per hour or more, an immediate penalty brake application will occur. Remember, always adhere to the maximum authorized speed shown on the SDU, even if ACSES enforcement is disabled. Failure to do so may create unsafe conditions on the line. As an engineer in training, you should operate a few miles per hour below the maximum authorized speed. This will give you enough of a buffer to reliably avoid speeding penalties and react to speed reductions. Starting to make some sense now. A little bit anyway.
So all we really need is a map of everything that this displays in the color light combinations and what that means from a speed perspective. Speed has gone back up again. HUD still says 35 though, so we have to obey that. HUD now says 55. Very reactive driving. The next station stop is Newark Broad Street. When leaving the train, please watch the gap. Anticipated that red and got the uh, speed down to below 20. These are lap brakes, of course, so you uh, take some pressure out watching the equalizing reservoir, which is the white needle on the left hand gauge. Should do pretty nicely there, I think. It might be a little early. Do the job. Right now, the uh, ADU is displaying a red aspect on the little little dot, which matches the signal indication we can see in front of us of red over red. covers the basics of the ATC and ACSES safety systems. I think I need a lot more. Don't know about you. Because this seems different to the ones that we've had before. So it just seems a bit different. I kind of get the idea, but it's different. And I think what we're going to need is a little map. So when the ADU shows this, you do this speed. When it shows this, you do this speed. I think we're going to need that. I might have to have a look and see what's around. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying Train Sim World 6 and uh, welcome to the game. And that's ATC and Axis on Morristown. Bye. If you've got any questions, chuck them down below. And of course, like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Bye. We played a game.